Yesterday was a good day. Did my chores. We did our shopping. Yumiko and I had some really good talks. Yumiko was really encouraging us to go back to Japan. Well, really, what she what she's encouraging us to do is to retire. Um, to you know, we we both. I know it's a little early, but we're both really tired, and we want to. We want, we, want, we want to rest a little bit. I know it may be selfish, but our <clears throat> our duties are nearly complete. Our daughter's almost out of university, another year for that. So I'm thinking now, December 31st, or maybe, you know, maybe I'll make a, pick a better date than that. Maybe I will. Maybe it'll just be, maybe it'll be December 15th just before the holidays start. That would be better. Maybe December 15th, 2024, as my retirement date. I'm thinking about just drawing a line in the sand. And then I won't shut up about it. I'll be an annoying prick. Well... Everybody's got to have something to look forward to, right? Because that would signal not only that, but then, then the start of a new life. I don't, I don't enjoy this lifestyle. I, uh, this this lifestyle of just seemingly. Destroying our, my, destroying our, because it seems like we're collectively doing our bodies and our minds for the consumerism. I know it's an old, old idea. It goes way back, you know, this consumer society. You know, it just seems like you just work on the hamster wheel and, and then burn it all up, or most of it. Consuming stuff, you know. Got your Netflix and your Prime and your YouTube TV and you know the, the restaurants and consumer products. I'm, you know, you you know you know, this this stuff. I just don't like that life. And the racing and the jostling on the freeways and the, the, I don't even like being around the young. Uh, young adults who are coming up who are, you know, entering into all of this and, you know, in loud trucks on the, in loud cars on the streets and the speeding and the, the angst that just permeates through. Now I see why old people just, I never quite understood it, why they just kind of fade away into their little enclaves. You know, it's like, it's like the world, go on, do your thing. I, I know, because I know it's important, right? It needs to be done because we need the young people to come up and and have babies and raise them, send them to, to school and you know, give them, take care of them and all that stuff. So they need to be young, ambitious and willing to in, engage in this, this hamster wheel race. But then I guess you get to be my age. You know, your responsibilities are done and you kind of snap out of it. You're like, what the hell have I been doing all this time? I don't want to do this. I don't want to spend my days on this damn wheel. And part of the problem is that maybe that's all you know because you've never done anything else. Now, you know, I think it's not too late for me or you, Miko, to, to break out of that. Wanna, we do know other ways and we do have the courage to, to break paradigms. Which just says a lot because it's really hard to do. If 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 all the people who have corresponded with me over the years are any evidence, you know I've had I can't can't imagine how many people have contacted me to talk about their dreams, and then they just fade away. Just like I said, I think it's on one hand, people one hand I can probably count and name the people who have 
who have at least kept up with me, right? Kept up the correspondence and have done it. One of them is doing it right now and the other is about to, about to do it. I think that'll take it into the second, when the other one does it this, this month. I think it'll end at the second digits. I mean, I'll have to give you into six, maybe six people. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's rare. Once we seem, seems like once we enter the hamster wheel, um, and we get grounded and settled with a home and a mortgage and kids in their schools and, you know, this is our life and this is our home and these are our connections, then, then you're, you become like a ponderosa pine rooted in, so, in the soil. Ain't going anywhere. Now, Amiko and I have not put down our roots like that. So we're still mobile. And we can still pull off another another uh, change. This time, it'll be the change to a circumstance that will be more to our taste and our interest at this point in our lives. Hopefully, it won't be a, a change that will be uh, a retirement into, into disillusion. Not disillusion, but dis, dis, dissolution, dissolving away. I, I being in a place that's not stimulating or active or interesting. I think we can avoid that. Kind of am droning on.